to AI. AI agents. AI agents. My team and I built a real AI agent. Yes, we're trendy. <laughs> yes, we're doing this. And it actually automated a process that used to be very manual. And the process is called, I call it building like a content factory where we have one video, but we want to make a lot of different content pieces from it. And uh, this AI agent is already running and it's working instead of us. It feels like we just added another person to the team and this person costs maybe like 40 bucks a month that we spend on all the automation tools. In this video, I'll show you how regular AI tools turn into agents and fully automate content from video to publishing. I'll show you our working system and I want you to remember the tools that we're using because they're very universal. Some automation tools can not only work for content, they can work for anything. And I know that my team at LinguaTrip uses these same tools to automate other things in the company. But basically what's happening, we're in the era of AI agents. It's not just like talking to ChatGPT and getting an answer. It's actually asking, an AI agent to repeat a process. And the best thing is you don't need to be a developer to understand how it works in practice. By the way, if it's your first time on this channel or if it's not your first time and you're not yet subscribed, I'm Silicon Valley Girl. My name is Marina. I'm an immigrant in Silicon Valley. I have my own business and uh, I am genuinely excited about technology and how we can use it to optimize our lives. And if you have the same mindset, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's continue. So there are three different levels. Level one, regular neural networks, chat GPT, Gemini, Claw, then you have AI workflows where you build the logic yourself, what happens, when and why, and AI does it for you. And then there is this cool thing called AI agents where AI thinks, decides and acts on its own. And most importantly, I'll show you how our AI agent takes a video, cuts it, writes titles and publishes shorts without human involvement. So let's start with level one. It is where you ask a question and uh, an LLM gives you an answer simple principle input output for example if i ask my chat gpt give me a list of the top five ai tools for youtube i get high quality up-to-date answer but once you ask what videos did i publish on youtube over the last three days the model cannot answer why because it doesn't know who you are. It has no access to your YouTube channel, email calendar, unless it's Gemini. Gemini can answer questions about your email, but then you ask Gemini about the weather on a particular day and it's like, ugh, freezes. LLM is an isolated system that doesn't see your personal data. And that's actually a privacy bonus. But most importantly, these models are passive. They wait for you to give a command and they don't do anything on their own. They can't act, they don't make decisions, they don't build action chains. It's still just a tool, smart, useful, but not an agent. Then we move to level two, AI workflow. At this second level, you're no longer just chatting with neural network, you start automating. This is where magic starts happening. You build a logical chain of actions yourself. If A, then do B and C. This is called an AI workflow. So here's our real life example. We use apps every day, whether Google Calendar, Notes, email. What if you tell the AI, if I ask about my personal events, check my Google Calendar first and only then answer. Now, if I ask, when is the meeting with um, Reid Hoffman? The AI checks the calendar and gives the correct answer. But if I immediately follow up with, uh, what will the weather be like that day? it fails again because you did not add the step, check the weather. It simply doesn't know it has to check the weather and that's how a workflow operates. You build the route, the AI follows it. No flexibility, no adaptation, but it still does things by itself. And this is called control logic. As long as you decide what to do and when, it's not an agent. It's just a manually built process, which is again, cool, but let's talk about AI agents. But before we talk about them, quick break. This is actually super important if you're building your first AI powered business. Many entrepreneurs, try to run their business using a bunch of disconnected tools. One for email, another for CRM, a third for websites, automations, payments, and scheduling. The result? You're juggling multiple subscriptions and everything becomes even more complicated. That's where High Level comes in, the sponsor of today's video. It's an all-in-one platform for email and medium-sized businesses that helps you automate and manage everything from day one. With High Level, you can build your website or funnel with an easy drag and drop editor, launch email and SMS campaigns, manage leads and clients with a built-in CRM, collect payments, schedule appointments, even host your own courses, and keep all your conversations from Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, and more 
more in one shared inbox. So nothing gets lost. When you sign up for any paid plan that starts at $97 a month, you unlock access to high level summer of AI promotion. As part of this promo, you can try AI employees free for 30 days. No hidden fees, just powerful tools that actually work. Here is what you get. Voice AI that answers calls, books appointments, talks to clients like a real receptionist. Conversation AI replies to messages on Instagram, SMS, Facebook, and more. Reviews AI automatically follows up to collect five-star reviews. Content AI writes emails, social posts, and blog content. Workflow AI assistant helps build automations. Website and funnel AI speeds up page building with zero code. High level replaces dozens of separate tools all in one place with centralized control. The platform starts at just $97 a month. Sign up using my link at gohighlevel.com slash siliconvalleygirl or explore the AI features using a link in the description of this video. If you're just starting out or ready to simplify what you already have, High Level helps you run your business like a pro right from the start. The link is in the description and let's talk about AI agents and real AI workflow, how we actually built an advanced automation system. So the entire system that we built, uh, we used a platform called called Natan, an automation tool similar to Make or Zapier, but even more flexible. It allows you to visually create a chain of actions between different services without writing a single line of code. Here is how our workflow works. All links to uploaded videos are stored in Google Sheets. This is our starting point where the workflow pulls the new tasks. The Natan scenario connects Google Sheets and retrieves most recent uploaded long-form video link. This video is automatically sent to Clap AI a neural network powered tool that converts long videos into vertical shorts. It detects key moments, emotional peaks, and generates clips in just a few minutes. But we don't stop here. Then we ask ChatGPT to analyze the content of each short and generate viral titles and descriptions optimized for YouTube Shorts. So if you like, it does it better than the tool itself. We use a custom prompt to ensure the titles are catchy, concise, and designed for maximum reach. And the final step, is automated upload of shorts to YouTube. The workflow publishes up to 10 videos per day, saving us a ton of time. It uploads files, adds the generated titles and descriptions, and posts the content to the channel. This basically gives us full automation without any human involvement. No editors, no managers, no manual work. Every day, our AI-powered system publishes content that drives views. That means free traffic without spending on ads. This approach allows you to scale yourself, even if you're working solo. And that's a real AI agent. Agent. Now, let me explain the key difference between an AI agent and a workflow that we just talked about. So as I mentioned, a workflow is a set of steps that follow a strict script. But a true AI agent is more than just execution. It can actually think, act, and adapt. So we have three capabilities. First of all, reasoning, it thinks. The AI agent chooses how to solve the task on its own. For example, instead of just grabbing the latest file, it checks which video is most likely to go viral. It acts, it operates tools, it doesn't wait for a command, it connects to a necessary service, looks for information and launches actions on its own. And it iterates, it refines the result. If the first solution doesn't work, it tries again. For example, it generates three versions of a title and chooses the one with the highest expected CTR, or it sends the result to another LLM to get some feedback and it improves based on its feedback. The logic is called react, reason plus act. It's not just a task sequence, it's a process where the neural network becomes the brain, not just a tool. In a regular workflow, if you don't like the result, you go back and manually change the prompt. For example, if a post that your workflow creator turns out boring, you rewrite the request and rerun the workflow. Now imagine the AI agent does all of that on its own. In our scenario, it might look like this. GPT generates a title for a short. It then sends that title to another LLM, for example, with the role of a YouTube editor, like train a chat GPT or whatever. The second LLM analyzes it and says, huh, this title is too generic. The CTR will be low. The agent returns to generation and creates a new version. It repeats the cycle until all conditions are met. Short, specific, with a hook. And the most important part, the human is no longer involved. And this is what makes the system agentic. The AI sets the goal, evaluates intermediate results, and independently decides what to do next. I did not build it by myself. I am less technical than that. We actually hired someone. We call them AI interns. It's so funny, I was talking to my friend a couple months ago when summer was just starting, and she told me, this summer I'm working with an intern who did three years of computer science or something. They're on their summer break, and they're gonna automate what my assistant does. She has a legal firm. 
And I was like, this is genius. We don't necessarily need a professional developer, but would totally work with a couple of interns. And so that's what we did. We hired a couple of interns and uh, we talked to them about the processes that are very manual right now. And I want my team to focus on something creative, like who is our next guest? What are we gonna make a video about? What are our big goals? I don't want them to just manually publish things. We still do a lot of things manually, but it's a process. And so this process where, you know, I talked to um, someone from Diary of a CEO team and they make, so many pieces of content every single day for many, many different channels. I'm like, I want this system, but I can't afford it if I just hire people. But the solution was an AI agent. So we built one and it's improving. It's exciting. And as an entrepreneur, when I see that with the same team, our results are not 10x right now, but like 5x, my natural response to that is like, let's 100x. How do we do that? Hire more people. Perfect. So we're, we're still hiring. Even with all the AI agents, we just need more people because I want to grow right? It's it's funny how this mindset like, oh, yes, we're replacing a person, but we actually need a couple more people because we want this to scale. I also wanted to show you a fascinating example of an AI agent that was created by OpenAI because they recently launched this viral, I think you've heard of it, ChatGPT agent. And it's no longer just a smart chatbot. It's actually an agent capable of completing goal-oriented tasks independently, like visiting websites, gathering and analyzing information, filling out forms. Finally, someone is filling out forms as a person with a passport that required a lot of visas i like finally guys 30 percent of my business was filling out forms for clients to get a us visa or a uk visa finally it works with google calendar it creates spreadsheets presentations and even purchases tickets i want an AI agent that knows how to utilize miles uh, and fly business class anyways it uses a virtual computer with a browser terminal api access and memory it chooses the order of steps on its own adjusts the path if something goes wrong and it can repeat the cycle until it reaches the desired outcome for example you're right find the most viral youtube shorts in the ai niche this week analyze their titles captions thumbnails and generate a content plan with hooks titles and video ideas for my channel. And the agent goes to YouTube, collects data on top of forming videos, analyzes their structure and metadata, creates an Excel content plan with actionable insights and sends the result back to you. And all that without any additional prompts at each step. That's what reasoning plus acting plus iteration looks like. And that's exactly the kind of logic that separates an agent from regular automation. Right now, the workflow that we built is very predictable. It executes every step precisely. Google Sheets, Clap AI, GPT, YouTube. But the logic is still set manually by us. To become a true agent, the system also needs to learn how to choose videos to process on its own. So instead of just picking a link to the video, ideally, I'd like it to go to my whole YouTube channel, analyze metadata, audience behavior, and trending topics, and then generate shorts, test multiple title variations, tell me like, Marina, uh, you need to make a video about this, this and that. Analyze engagement and then publish the best one. You know, I was talking to a guy who built uh, a system where you can test ads in, in an AI world. Like you create an ad and then you launch it to this AI audience and uh, you can kind of predict the outcome. This is where we're going. I feel like we're gonna create AI versions of ourselves to test ideas so that every video that we publish on YouTube goes viral instantaneously because we tested it on the AI version of our audience. And uh, ideally the agent also learns like, okay, this video, we thought it was gonna go viral, it did not. Why it didn't go viral? Let's adjust the workflow, let's adjust the process. So the goal of this video is to inspire you to automate something in your workflow. And start simple, like with hiring. You start with hiring someone who just does like personal assistant type of work. With this, try to automate one repetitive task you always do by hand. I don't like typing anymore. I'm talking to my computer and I'm talking a lot and I'm becoming more productive. Ask yourself, what can I automate in my workflow? Maybe you start with something simple and then move on to building your own AI agent. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have an email newsletter. The link will be down below where I send you breakdowns of what we've learned uh, by interviewing other folks from the AI industry, by implementing AI into our processes. So if you're excited about optimizing things with AI, please subscribe and subscribe to this channel. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments. If you've tried anything and you're liking it, let me down in the comments below and I'll see you soon in the next videos. Bye.